Here's how you can get started with Ruby with Docker. We'll be reviewing the server.rb, which is the Ruby file. Before we look at the Ruby file, let's take a look at the views directory. Here you'll simply see I have a HTML, JS, and CSS for a website. And for the Ruby site, we're going to look at that views directory where we had that HTML, JS, and CSS. We're going to set up a little web server with HTTP server and serve it at port 8000. And the last command is just starting the server. I won't be going over the Docker side, but if you look into the Docker file, you'll see all I'm doing is grabbing the Ruby image. Great, now that we have all that set, we can go over to a terminal and run docker compose up. To check out the Ruby website, you can go over to my deployment in the description below to render.com, and here you can interact with my website.